Fonnie Willis and Nathan Wade epitomize everything that is wrong with the corrupt establishment and its relentless attacks against President Trump and his supporters. These two individuals have shamelessly abused their positions in a desperate attempt to undermine Trump and subvert the will of the American people. Let's start with Fonnie Willis. Her pursuit of baseless accusations against Trump reeks of political vendetta and personal ambition. Instead of upholding the law impartially, she has become a puppet of the liberal elite, determined to destroy Trump at any cost. Her decision to convene a grand jury to investigate Trump's financial records is a blatant abuse of power and a transparent attempt to discredit him politically. And then there's Nathan Wade, another cog in the corrupt machine working tirelessly to bring down Trump and silence his supporters. Wade's actions are a disgrace to the justice system, as he shamelessly targets innocent Americans simply for exercising their right to free speech. His partisan witch hunts only serve to further divide our nation and undermine the very foundations of democracy. Together, Willis and Wade represent the worst kind of political opportunism and abuse of power. They are willing to sacrifice the rule of law and trample on the Constitution in their quest to destroy Trump and anyone who dares to support him, but they will not succeed. The American people see through their lies and manipulation and come the next election, they will be held accountable for their disgraceful actions. Fonnie Willis and Nathan Wade are nothing but puppets of the deep state, working tirelessly to undermine President Trump and his supporters. Their actions reek of political bias and corruption, as they shamelessly abuse their positions to advance their own twisted agendas. Willis's relentless pursuit of baseless accusations against Trump is a prime example of her willingness to stoop to any level to take him down. Her decision to convene a grand jury to investigate Trump's financial records is a blatant abuse of power and a transparent attempt to smear his name. As for Wade, he's no better. His blatant disregard for the rights of Trump supporters is appalling. Instead of upholding justice, he's busy engaging in partisan witch hunts targeting innocent Americans simply for expressing their support for the president. Together, Willis and Wade represent everything that's wrong with the corrupt establishment. They're more concerned with scoring political points than upholding the rule of law. But mark my words, their days of abusing their power are numbered. The American people see through their lies and deceit, and come the next election, they'll be held accountable for their disgraceful actions. Fannie Willis and Nathan Wade are nothing short of disgraceful figures in the legal landscape, epitomizing the corruption and bias that plagues our justice system. Their actions serve as a brazen display of political vendetta and manipulation, aimed squarely at undermining President Trump and his supporters. Willis's relentless pursuit of Trump, fueled by baseless accusations and grand jury subpoenas, is a blatant abuse of power and a mockery of justice. Her partisan agenda has tainted the integrity of her office, turning it into a weapon against political opponents rather than a defender of the law. Wade's complicity in targeting Trump supporters further underscores the toxic partisanship infecting our legal institutions. His disregard for the constitutional rights of Americans who dare to voice their support for the president is deeply concerning and indicative of a broader agenda to silence dissent. Together, Willis and Wade represent a clear and present danger to the principles of fairness and impartiality in our legal system. Their actions not only undermine the rule of law, but also erode public trust in the integrity of our institutions. As defenders of President Trump and champions of justice, we must hold Willis and Wade accountable for their egregious abuses of power. Their disgraceful conduct cannot go unchecked, and it is incumbent upon us to ensure that they face the consequences for their actions.